In this lesson we're going to look more at long division and our goal here is to do a couple of things. Uh, one, to understand how to work through the long division process when your quotient may have a zero in it. Uh, that tends to be something that uh, throws people off a little bit. The other uh, is to just get comfortable when your divisor is um, has more than one digit, which both the divisors have here. So let's look at the first example here, 19,067 divided by 38. So we know that 19,067 goes inside, and we'll put the 38 outside. Of course, we're going to try to put 38 into the least number of digits possible. So 38 cannot go into 1, it cannot go into 19, but it certainly can go into 190. Now the hard part when the divisor is uh, has more than one digit is that the number 38 is not particularly easy to think about. So the strategy I suggest is to at least get an initial guess try turning 38 into a number that is close to 38 but much easier to think about. So the thing that jumps to my mind is the number 40. So rephrasing the question, how many times does 40 go into 190, is a lot more friendly of a question to ask, I think. So let's see, 40 times 1 is 40, times 2 is 80, times 3 is 120, times 4 is 160, but 40 times 5 would be 200. So 5 is a little bit too big for 40, uh, uh, 4 is under 190. So what that means is that 4 might be a decent guess for how many times 38 goes into 190. So I'll go ahead and put a 4 here. We go ahead and we have to multiply, and so um, you can multiply over on the side here if you want. Um, kind of a quick way of doing this multiplication is instead of writing it out like I just did, you could just look at it and say 4 times 8 is 32, so you put the 2 there, carry a 3. 4 times 3 is 12, plus that 3 is 15, so you don't necessarily have to write this out every time. Now what we do here is we go ahead and subtract and we get 10, because we need to borrow, right? 10 minus 2 is 8, 8 minus 5 is 3. Now this is interesting. Our remainder here is exactly the same as the divisor. Now understand that what that means is that if your remainder is ever the same or larger than your divisor, you could have put 38 into 190 more times. In this case you could put it in exactly one more time. So at this point we realize we've guessed wrong. Now, um, and that'll happen sometimes with these larger digits and that's okay. So what we do is we just simply erase and so here's a good reason for using pencil, especially when doing long division. And I'll erase all this and remember to put a 9 and a 0 back in the back in the dividend. So I realized that 4 was not quite big enough. So that must mean 38 can go into 195 times. Alright, so we take the product 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 4 is 19, just showing you the shortcut for multiplying those. So we get 190 minus 190 is 0, and now we drop down our 6, right? That's what our process says. Now at this point, we say 38 goes into 6 how many times? But of course it doesn't. Okay, but the part of the process we cannot skip is that if 38 does not go into 6, we must say so. Once I've dropped a digit down, if 38 or whatever the divisor is does not go into the remainder with that digit drop down, you have to say it goes in 
zero times. And then once you've said it goes in zero times, I suppose you could multiply zero times 38 and put zero down here and subtract, but that's unnecessary. You can just drop the seven down. And now you can say 38 goes into 67 how many times? Well, again, think about 40. 40 goes into 67 only once because 40 times 2 would be 80. So I think 1 is a good guess here. So we put a 1 there. 1 times 38 is 38. And so we need to borrow. So we'll borrow here. This becomes a 5. That becomes a 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. 5 minus 3 is 2. And I know that this guess was good because uh, 29 is less than 38. Right? The remainder is less than, than the divisor. Now there are no more digits to drop down, so I know that this problem is over. So the answer is 501 with a remainder of 29. Let's take a look at the next example. Here we have 71,997, and we're dividing that by 23. Now again, 23 is not easy to think about, so let's think about something easier. How about 25? Well, 25 goes into 71. Well, we have 25, 50, 75. Now, let's think about this carefully for a second. 25 times 3 is 75, which is barely too big. But 25 is also bigger than 23. So even though 25 won't fit into 71 three times, I actually think it's a reasonable guess that 23 will. So let's go ahead and put a 3 up above our 1 and 71. We'll multiply 23 by 3 and end up with a 9 and a 6 here. And since, and then we go ahead and subtract, we get a remainder of 2. Drop down the 9. 23 goes into 29 just one time. So we can put 23 down there and subtract, get a remainder of 6, drop the 9 down, and I always like it when this happens in long division, because uh, we've already figured out that 23 goes into 6, uh, that 23 times 3 is 69, and so I don't really have to think too much. I can just put a 3 up here, put a 69 down there, put a 0, and then we have this 7 to drop down. Now, 23 does not go into 7. Now, you might be looking at this and saying, okay, well, fine, my remainder is 7. And that's true, but we cannot forget that once we drop down the digit, if 23 doesn't go into 7, we had better say so. We had better put a 0 above the last digit there. So our answer is 3,130 with a remainder of seven.